Hey there, hi, welcome to the channel. I am Garrett and in this video, we are talking about interior designers, the things we love and we like to see in spaces we love to use to create beautiful, innovative and impeccable interior design. Now the first thing designers love to use and something is my personal favorite, I think looks great in every space is leather. I love a leather piece of furniture because there's such great quality there. There's such variation in tone and it's a rich material that looks beautiful. This is also a heritage material. We've been using leather for as long as people have existed and it's something great to incorporate into a space because not only do you get a great texture and a feel, it's something different and interesting and it has that variation in tone. It's also something that's actually a little bit low maintenance. You can wipe leather and you can clean it really easily. It doesn't attract dog hair and it's actually quite difficult to stain so leather is a great material that designers love to use for me personally I like to see it in seating and accent chairs a leather sofa can be a little bit much when you're trying to relax and cuddle up and be cozy in a space because leather is actually a slick material and during the summer if it's hot and you are wearing shorts like your legs stick to it you don't want any of that I like an accent chair I think that's a great place to have a leather accent a moment in the space is through an accent chair and if you can find a vintage one that's even better. Leather that has a little bit of age on it that's softened up over time is great to bring into a space and something that already has a little bit of wear and tear might be ideal for you especially if you are looking out for something that is gonna actually get used a lot. So leather an amazing material that designers love to incorporate into a space. It adds so much character but no matter what space you are working on no matter what you're designing if you get stuck you need a little bit of help you can always book a one-on-one -on -one private consultation with me using the link in the description box down below or going to intro.co slash Garrett Lachique. Another great material designers love to use in a space is mohair and velvet. I adore velvet. It's one of my favorite materials ever because of its durability. There is variation in its tone because it has a pile to it. The same thing with mohair and depending on which way that pile is brushed depends on the color of it. So it actually hides wear really well. The other great thing about mohair and velvet is that pile doesn't allow things like dog hair to penetrate into it, meaning it's a luxury material, but you actually get a lot of use out of it and it's got some durability behind it. I think all of that is so fantastic, especially if you're using one of these materials in a darker tone, you will hide more of the wear on them. Something like a cotton velvet, you might see a little bit of age on it, but that's a part of the beauty of the material, the way it ages and the way you use it and the way it shows that wear. So I think these are really, really fantastic for sofas, for seating, for dining and accent chairs. You can even get things like pillows made out of it. Designers don't tend to do that all too much. We like to mix different materials together. So I might have a velvet moment and I might have a linen pillow or I'm gonna do something in a pattern like this great pillow here in front of me. It's got a linen-like material backing with velvet stripes on it. So we're getting a mix and some variation. We get a little bit of sheen that looks fantastic. Designers love these materials because they bring an interesting hand and texture to the space. Something like cashmere and wool. These are great materials to look for, for throw blankets, for pillows, those small accents, because we love, love, love the texture that varying materials bring to a space. Something designers love to do is mix metals in a space. And right now there are three of the most popular metals out there that designers love. Probably the most trending metal right now or what is going to be the most trending everyone is saying is copper. Designers aren't using it and they probably won't because it is a little bit trend driven. Although we love copper if you have it. Copper pots, amazing. Or like a copper light fixture is a little bit much. Designers really like to use chrome, 
brass, and bronze. And the key here is to mix different types of metal together. Brass and bronze go great together because they actually have similar depth in the tones of each other. And if you want something that's more high impact, you would take one of those and mix it with chrome for a really strong contrast. Chrome right now is very popular because of mid-century design and we're kind of bringing that back and I think it's really amazing. Chrome is a great material to have. For me in my home, I am more likely to do like a chrome chandelier because I like the glamour and the shine and the shimmer you get out of that. But then I'll also layer in some antique silver that's maybe polished and I'll let it patina a little bit. So I get a little bit more of that silver metal and then I'll look for brass accents. Like I have a brass nest thermostat, okay? It took forever, I had to special order it. It's a great thing, I'm gonna link it for you in the description box down below. But I also have a brass curtain rod and the two of them relate together and they reference back brass door handles in my home crystal and brass actually, but I love those tones together. So I mix them and designers like to do that because when one metal is trending, it uplifts the others that are not giving you a timeless feel. Now, I always like to talk about trends because it's something that's happening right now and we will see the influence later on. And I think that's really interesting and I like to share that with you. So if you like to see what's classic and what's trending and how to use them together or to upgrade your space, be sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button, join us, become a part of the La Chique family. And while you're at it, give this video a like. Something designers love to reference back to and they love to bring into a space is anything with a classic design or undertone. And right now, that's Victorian. Designers are loving Victorian era pieces because they've got such a great dark and rich wood tone, but you also have such stately and grand design. These can be a real standout moment in a space, whether that is a large, bookcase of some sort, or even a Victorian era sofa. These are so much fun and mixing them with modern pieces or doing that sofa in a modern fabric will immediately make it feel very classic, very elegant and timeless, but also very current. And that's something worth considering in your space because we all want something that will last forever and always look beautiful. So looking for something that has a little bit of history, a little bit of character and something that's a bit more modern and finding a mix between the two is always going to feel very interesting and sophisticated and chic. And you could take something like that, mix it with a modern stone table. Victorian East Lake style pieces are very, very popular right now. And you can find a lot of these that are vintage and secondhand and have them reupholstered for a great upgraded feeling in your space. And that's a secret designers love to use in a space. Find something that's classic as a reference point and then mix that in with things that are modern for that current Feel. Something that I love and designers also adore is the color black. But we're not just talking about black accents or a little black touch of something here or there to tie in with the TV screen. We're talking about all black spaces, black cabinetry, black accents. Black is one of the most powerful colors in the world. Although it's not really a color, is it? It's technically a shade or the absence of color. So using this in a space allows you to add more into that space without it feeling neutral, without it feeling safe, but without it being overwhelming. I absolutely adore an all black space, a black accent. I actually just saw a space that had a black painted ceiling that looked incredible. If you have a space that has a lot of detail in it and you want a moodier feel, but you want to showcase that, and if not black, look for a darker, moodier tone that you can paint everything in, encapsulate the space for that overwhelming feeling that will immediately feel elevated. Something I am so inspired by and other designers are as well is actually the classics, a gorgeous antique reference, specifically 1930s Art Deco. Designers absolutely love it because you get so much classic detail and those references, but it's actually a very refined and simple design that feels very current, it feels very modern, but you get the antique quality of it being antique. I love Art Deco pieces because they have such great character to them, and this is something we are seeing designers use in droves. It is 
gorgeous and something worth looking out for. A lot of these pieces are vintage and you can find them pre-owned and I think that's fantastic. We haven't seen the kind of commercial market yet reproduce these. So anything you're seeing out there is probably gonna be really great high quality. You wanna be on the lookout for these pieces because they will make a statement in a space in a really refined way. And I think that's amazing. I also really love like 80s post modern art deco. I think this is really cool and designers like this also. Right now channel tufting is very in. If you can find chairs with that or something it's really great. And some of these pieces have really cool lines and asymmetric shapes that can play really beautifully in a space. They do tend to be very statement like so I would put one piece in a space and let that do the talking or a set of matching chairs if you find them. That 1980s postmodern art deco is also very cool and something designers love because because of its classic reference but modern feel. And the great part about both of these is that they blend seamlessly in with other design styles, whether that's ultra modern and contemporary or traditional neoclassic. And I think that's the real reason designers love this so much. Designer's favorite thing ever that you want to be on the lookout for in your home because, well, I'm on the lookout for it and I'm always gonna snatch it up when I see it is oversized artwork. I cannot understate the importance of large scale artwork in a home. If you have your sofa against a wall, you want to have a big giant piece of art behind it. Something right now designers are loving are actually folding screens. I think that's so cool and you can really get a big, big screen that looks and feels like a large scale piece of artwork because there actually is a lot of craftsmanship in here. But something like that is great. Large scale art is so important and if you're an artist out there, start, start making some of those big pieces, okay? We're on the lookout for them and it's so hard to find a great piece of art that's really large scale. We want that large scale because it will take up a wall, a great space. And this is something that's wonderful whether you're a homeowner or a renter. If you're renting and you're like, I'm sick of looking at these white walls, get a big, a large scale piece of artwork to just cover all of it up and you won't have to look at it anymore. And I think that's fantastic. Large scale art is the backbone of great great design. So be on the lookout for it in your home. Oh, it doesn't matter where you see it. Pick up a piece if you like it, if you see it and you're like, oh gosh, I don't know if it's going to fit. Just get it. Just get it because there will always be a place for a large scale piece of artwork. A big empty wall, put a big piece of art behind a sofa. That's a great place for it too. And also the same goes for mirrors. If you can find like a gilt mirror, that's always classic. It's a timeless People love it, I'm obsessed, and I love them too, so if you find something that's really great with an ornate top on it, get it, because it will be a statement, an impact in your space, and that's the secret designers love to use when it comes to designing a home. Of course, if you're living in a smaller space, you do wanna get something that's proportionate to the size of space, so keep in mind some general dimensions you're looking for and write those down on a piece of paper, put them in your wallet, put them in your handbag so you always have them on you. When you see a great piece, you can pull it out and say, hey, that'll fit just fine. Or maybe it's too big. Maybe it's too small. That's the key to finding that right piece of artwork for your home. Now that you know the designer's love list, all of our secrets are out there. Be sure you check out this video to find out all about seven dated pieces of furniture you need to keep. Check this video out right here and I will see you over there.